So check yes. it out. Oh my gosh. Y'all came on the right day because <laughs> yes. we have a great co-host who's as real as they come. Uh -huh. She's a Grammy-nominated rapper who's BET named the best female hip-hop artist of 2017. Yes. She is our girl. We love her so much. Everybody give it all the way up for Remy Ma. <laughs> You look fantabulous. <laughs> and you know we are all the way live today, girl. This is my first time yes, live. I know. It's yeah. so much fun. Yeah, I really. So, I'm yes. just excited to see what Adrian does. Like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so cool. one question. Prepare. Can you keep it all the way real for live girl chat? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We love it. Yes, and to everyone who's watching, please make sure to head over to The Real Daytime Instagram and use the hashtag Girl Chat Live to join in on the fun. Adrian's keeping watch over there. I'm watching you people, <laughs> seeing what you have to say. Now, Rory, we first want to congratulate you on your latest single, Melanin Magic. Woo! Yes. Which actually is available right now. It's such a dope song. You actually collaborated with Chris Brown, and uh, you actually even directed the music video. Yeah. So yeah. Look at you. Was that a first for you? No, well, actually, I wasn't the one actually behind the camera. I had a um, really dope girl from, she was in L.A. named Melissa, and then I had, who's like a brother to me, Eve Rivera. He did oh. some extra shots um, on New, in New York because afterwards yeah. there's certain things that I wanted to change, but it's pretty much everything was my idea. I was like, I want brown, beautiful women, natural Love hair, that. brown tones in the clothes. I want the room to be brown. I want some chocolate. I want coffee. <laughs> I want chocolate cake. Yes. Anything brown, okay. I was with it. I love it. That's well, so we can't wait for the upcoming album. It's called Seven Winters and Six Summers. Wow. What can everyone wow, expect? Yeah. What made you name the yeah. album? Um, what does that mean? Well, well, when I was away, for people that don't know, you know, I spent some time in prison, and I spent seven winters and six summers. Wow. And when I was sentenced, I could not fathom counting in years. So I would count it based on, you know, what I the saw seasons. in my window. If it wow. was branches, okay, and I, it was 2000 and. 10 or something, I'd be like, all right, I got five more winters. Or if it was green and it was... It's very Game of Thrones. Like, right? <laughs> winter is coming. You know what's winter so crazy? I read coming. that whole, the whole collection while I was away. Like, no way. Each, no way. Book, each book is over a thousand Game pages. of Thrones book is so, so amazing. I, I yes. love the show, but the book's amazing. No, the book's amazing. way wow. My brother-in-law read them, and they're like, they're this like, guy. It's so interesting. Like, I, I don't even want to talk about how it ends, and I'm, there's... Whatever. Okay. So that's why I named yes. it that. But um, I, I, it's pretty much me. A lot of times as artists, we get stuck on trying to make records. Okay, this is for this marker. Yep. This is for the radio. This is for this. I just did what I wanted to do for me. Like with the song Melon and Magic. That's just how I felt at the moment. I felt like I wanted to do something that celebrated people that look like me so or that come from where yeah. I come from. So this is before the whole, you know, Wakanda movement thing. Yeah. I recorded right. it last year. Chris came in, he did his thing, he's amazing. Yes. And um, it's, it's just what I wanted to do. All right. I, I think that's when the best music comes out. Because people feel that. When people feel that music, when you do what's in your heart instead of doing what you think the market wants yes. to hear and you're trying yeah. to please, please everyone listeners, else. Yeah, you actually yeah. end up making your best music it's, and it's I can't wait to hear it. It's also too because I have a great new home at Columbia Records and they are like more they I think they sometimes they're more passionate about it than me so uh -huh. it's like one That's thing you see how like you guys come to work and y'all love the people that you yes, work yes, with yeah. so it's, it just Some gives you that <laughs> it gives you <laughs> It gives you that extra, mm, so, you know, yeah. having a good team behind me, too, that helps as well. So uh -huh. when is it coming out? It's coming out this summer. This We're summer. We're doing this summer. We don't have, I don't have the exact date setting, but it's definitely this summer. Any day now, it's done. I'm, I'm waiting to just, you know, yeah, push the it. button and, and be ready to go. All right. Wait, I can't wait. I can't wait. wait. I can't wait. wait. I can't wait. Speaking of music, ABC's reboot of American Idol premieres this Sunday night, and apparently it's the contestants who are making beautiful music together, if you know what I mean. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? Yes. yes. According to CMZ, all the contestants are staying together in an L.A. hotel, and they hook it up left and right. What? The production sources says that it's because the contestants are younger this season, and they're used to, quote, tender culture. So, Ooh. Remy, what is it about two people working in music together <laughs> that's such a turn on? Well, I, I, I'm not turned on by anybody that I work with. I'm, I'm married. <laughs> How did you meet Papoose? Yeah, but Papoose. Oh, back then. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't talk about yeah. the studio. Like, I'm trying to look. Yeah. Y'all trying to set me up. No. 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 No
was, what happens, I think, is when, when you meet people that are in the same field as you, mm. they kind of understand what's going on. So when me and my husband, we first met, we actually were friends for a really long time before mm. it turned into a relationship. But you spend a lot of time together. They understand the late hours. They understand you missing holidays sometimes. They understand yeah. the sacrifice that it takes to be in a business. So if you have somebody that's used to a regular nine to five, they get up, they're like, it's four in the morning. Where are you at? Yeah. Or, you know, it's been two days. How I haven't spoken to you. It's like, you know, it's back to back. I haven't had literally two minutes to make a phone call. So I think when people are in the same business, that's what kind of yeah. makes it easier for because they understand each other. That's, yeah, that's right now they're in there relating to each other. Yeah. 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 <laughs> relating, literally. Yeah, they are literally <laughs> relating. My thing is, shouldn't they be practicing? Like, I would want to be so focused on winning that I, I, I wouldn't want any of those distractions. I'd be like, yo, I got my eye on the prize, not on your pee-pee. Thank you very yes. much. <laughs> I don't want to worry okay, yeah. about, you know, if somebody likes me. No, I'm like you. If I'm there, I'm there because I want to win. Yeah, and I'm going to focus on that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, maybe that's part of the strategy, though. Yeah. Maybe. 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 Watch out for the guys. They're trying they to distract, distract you. You. Mm-hmm. you know, get you messed up in your mind. You can't think straight. You don't know your lyrics. Yeah. Yeah. You're thinking about <laughs> you're doing something. You're thinking about that bam, bam, bam. Exactly. That's what you're thinking about, okay? Maybe the yeah. guys have created an alliance. Yeah. Maybe. I got Ooh. one question, though. take the ladies down. One question. Literally. Which <laughs> L.A. hotel is this right now? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go? Kidding, gonna make you want to go? No, Do I don't want to go. <laughs> Just wonder. <laughs> <laughs> for a friend. Hey, for a friend. I'm single right now. My friends are single right now. Who else is single? Who else is single? I'm just saying, I like oh, to know Lord. where the hot spots are, you know? Because we're oh, hot spots. Well, you know what? As a comic on the road, we would always hook up with each other. No. Yeah, we would. Really? Ooh, There's nobody else around. Is there somebody right now that is you really be at famous? You best West, Western? Western? Ooh. You see them at the. For real? Wait, Lonnie. Yeah. Some about them plastic sheets. And... But you see, I wouldn't be able wait, to. Wait, wait, wait. When they saw, he'd do a joke, he'd be like, wait. You talking about it? Because you know it's different. Yes. You know how comedians, y'all be having a lot of you know sexual jokes and stuff. <laughs> well, but I, I, I want to know. I'll be feeling some type of way on this. Why you think Not I take a... only men with me on the road? <laughs> well, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, right, Lonnie. Okay, Lonnie. I have to ask since you opened that door. Uh-huh. Is there anyone that you have had relations with that is really famous right now? On the road? Oh my on God. the road. Comedian. Lonnie, keep yeah. going. I'm not telling that right now. <laughs> no, see, that's but wack. is there you someone? I'm gonna let them tell. come on the show and tell you. Oh. No. But tell you. Right. Lonnie. Y'all know she's not doing that. No, Lonnie, give us, I just need a just story. Give a hint. Just, just give us a hint. Just give us a hint. One scenario yeah. that happened. You gotta keep it real at this table. You know Lonnie. what? Hit me up on the real Instagram page and let me think. Let me, if you if you can guess a name, I'll tell oh, you. I'm gonna tell you who's guess. Yes. Guess right okay. now on At The Real Daytime's Instagram who you think is the famous comedian that Lonnie has slept with while yes. they're on the road together. And I'm going to read them out loud. I'm waiting on you. I'm going to be messy this morning. <laughs> I want to know, too. I know. Too. So, yeah, I know. I'm messy well, so early. You know, I got my preconceived notions about you and your relationship. I'm dying now. <laughs> exactly. Oh, move on, GD. Move on. <laughs> Oh, we'll get back oh, to I this in just I a second. I tried. Yeah, I tried. my wig all twisted and everything. Okay. <laughs> From music to movies, someone who's killing the game right now is Frances McDormand, yes. who just won Best Actress at Sunday's Oscars. Oh, yes. She's such an amazing actress. Yes, she is. She's amazing. But it seems like Frances never really cared about receiving shiny new things. According to the New York Times Magazine, when Frances married her husband, Joel Cohen, back in 1984, the wedding band he gave her actually belonged to his ex-wife. But yo, Frances exactly. didn't seem to care though because she said it's a practical choice because she didn't want the ring to go to waste. Huh? So ladies, do you think you could wear a ring that came off of another woman's finger? No. Oh, okay. It is how big it is. She said, she said okay, that real. Like that? No. You, she my said, girl. She said it depends on how big it, it is. is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you, my friend, are part Asian because we never <laughs> let anything go to waste. <laughs> Ever. I don't know. I would nah. have to know why, why he kept it. Well, first of all, you know, like maybe she died. died. Maybe she yeah. got. Maybe he, his ex-wife, he really loved, and she passed away from something. Well, but we, still. we don't know that. Yeah, we but don't no, know that. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I don't know. just thinking when it would be acceptable to accept it. She well, said maybe if I yes, think the if it was died. one of Elizabeth Taylor's, you know, exes, because you <laughs> yes. know her rings was like nuts. Yes. Um, so yes. I, me personally, I'd make an exception. Yes. Like. 
I, I'd make an My exception. My thing is, I still wouldn't make an exception. Me I'd neither. want it. I'd get it, the money for it, and have it reworked, even if it was like a really expensive yeah. diamond. Yes. Yeah. Then I'd just have it reworked, but I'm not wearing Especially your same ring. If that, if that marriage didn't, didn't work, work out, out, I don't want that juju no, on my finger. Not the juju. No, see, I, I agree 100%. No, no, no. I would have to pray over it or something. Yeah, but you guys can pray the spirit off of it, whatever. I agree. I know, but I would look at it. Mary, divorce, like, all those rocks and metals that I have, it's going to be an ancleta, it's going to be a ring, it's going to be a headband. Like, I'm mixing it up because I'm not wasting all my gold. I know, but if I'm honest, if I'm honest, if I would wear that ring, I would constantly be thinking about his ex-wife. Do you see what I'm saying? I don't want anything materialistic of my ex's past in the present. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's actually very toxic. That can be very toxic when you start to think about the past. You've got to let the past go and move on into the future. Well, he did think, he he, he forgot about the past, and now he, because they've been together since 1984. They have been together for 20 years, for 35 years. But this is the weird part. I actually read that Maybe the ring was too big on her. It didn't fare because you guys, she wore it on her middle finger. That's that sounds like a message to me. <laughs> what? What? So she, she wears, wears her wedding the, ring because it was on the... too big. So it so it fit on her middle finger. Does she currently wear it on her middle finger? I, I don't. She know did that. for the twenty years that she wore it. She wore it on her middle finger. So I feel like that's a message right there. I yeah, think but are we that, the message was that she ain't give a you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I, I don't I give a. Finger. I don't give a nothing about you. <laughs> I ain't thinking about you. But they've been together since 1984. They their first date included reading their favorite books and pouring over hot chocolate. I think there's something so much more solid that they and don't care the because that ring doesn't mean anything to them. Then don't wear and a ring at all. Them. Then don't wear. Ring at all, but it can a ring cannot mean anything to you. Come on, you guys. You, you guys, could buy me a tin ring. We've had at this table. I would never, ever, 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 ever. I'm with you. Wear somebody else's ring. Somebody else's You've never, ring. ever, you. ever, ever worn anything that belonged to somebody in your past. No, not it's no, like no, somebody not from my, ex, not from like my a grandmother, past. great grandmother shirt. Yeah, not, a, not, not an, not an ex. Why? Why you why, would? <laughs> yeah. Why? Because things cost money and I'm trying to look rich in these streets. No. But yo, you could take that and melt it down and create your own. Yeah, you could do that too. But you also, I just, I'm not that stuck on meaning to things. Like, what, how You things, just said because it makes you look rich. No, no. How things, but the meaning, the, the intention behind it. If I got a gift, I was bombed to you at that moment. I did something to you that made you so whooped. You bought that for me. I'm wearing it. Because I'm the same girl. You're saying bought, though. He didn't he buy didn't it. Buy that He's you. saying he bought what it for X were this here. It doesn't matter to me. If it's pretty and it's bombed, okay. Ling Ling is going to put it on. Okay. Ling Ling. All righty then. It's okay. Well, the good news is, people, we've got a lot of suggestions for Lonnie. You want to hear who they yes. are? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. Wait. No, you have to nod your head. Yeah, she has like to this. respond. Yes or no. Yes or no? Come I'm on, gonna girl. start Who with. Who is making these rules? We are. Game. Yeah. It's our game. I want to know. Guys, I'm on, I'm on the real thing. Here wait, it wait, goes. Wait, wait, wait. Read one name at a time, Adrian, so she can respond. Okay. At La Flaca. I'm watching. Says Dave Chappelle. No. No. Okay. <laughs> I love Dave, though. I love okay, okay, real okay. Luca says Mike Epps and Lonnie. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> there was some guy. Yes? Yes? No. That was weird. That was weird, but <laughs> That was no. weird. No, that was definitely something, dude. I'm something. looking at the camera. They made out. They made out or something. <laughs> okay. Okay, keep going, Adrian. Go. At Desire Now says <laughs> Kevin Hart. No. Okay. <laughs> K at Kmo at Kmo615. Hashtag Don't even say that name. No. Okay. <laughs> what? Tajier underscore the underscore Pharaoh says. JB Smooth. No, he's married. Okay. okay. Happily. Okay. At Junior Good. Love 25. Oh, she's just saying, hey, loves, beautiful ladies. So, <laughs> hi, girl. Hi. Okay, we got Cat Williams. Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Who's that? I was going to leave this. Cat <laughs> Williams. <laughs> oh, he gave you the steam of yourself, right? All right. Well, 